Hello my gorgeous Scorpios, this is Debs and this is your TGIF weekly reading for Friday the 7th of April 2023. Scorps, it's great to be with you, I hope you're well, hope you're looking forward to the weekend and let's begin your reading, let's just delve straight in. Using a crystal quartz to help me connect through with Source and the deck is, if I can pick it up, the Tarot of Mystical Moments. Guys, if you want a private reading, many of you ask. It's all in the description box below, okay? And with that said, let's jump in. Here we go. Archangel Michael, thank you for joining us. This is the TGIF weekly reading for my Scorpios. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Friday, the 7th of April, 2023, moving into the weekend and brand new week. What have we got for my Scorpios? Thank you, Michael. Wow. All right. Doesn't want to go back into the deck. Okay, guys. Let's find out what's happening for you. I'm hearing off and on, off and on, off and on. Okay. Is somebody in their head? Is somebody wondering whether or not they can relight the fire? with someone else, get things back on track. Yeah, is it done, is it not? I don't know, should I approach? I don't know. There's a lot of nervous energy. Hmm, okay. Is that all we have, Michael? Thank you. No, okay. That's it. That's it, guys. All right. So, Scorps, I'm going to put these in some kind of order and I'll be back in a moment. So, lovely Scorpios, you've got quite an exciting reading for you guys for this week. We start off with the Ace of Swords. Now, I believe someone that you were connected to in the past was in another relationship. I think that person has ended that relationship. It might be that this person lived a distance from you. It could be that this person was in some kind of arranged marriage, financially stable, but not happy. I think that's done. Whoever this person is, has been sitting, thinking about what they want for the future, Pisces energy, and they have been dreaming about moving into a connection with you. With a star card, this is someone who's been dreaming about a new life. Aquarian energy. Somebody who's been healing at the same time and they are moving into the energy of the magician. Virgo, Scorpio, Gemini energy. With the death card, they're wanting to transform the situation with you, Scorpio. They're going to be approaching you with the energy of the Page of Pentacles. Can we talk? Can I come and see you? Really lovely. What they're planning is to offer you the Ace of Pentacles. They want a brand new start with you. They want to offer you the start of what could turn out to be quite a serious relationship. Okay. We have the Emperor. Aries Energy. This is someone ready to take charge. This is someone who was ready for a serious connection, having ended a previous one. What they are hoping is that with the Four of Wands, you two can discuss moving forward into this new relationship. Very exciting, Scorpio. This is what they're wanting. So people, this is your story resonating hopefully with one or two of you for this particular period of time. All right, Sacred Forest, Denise Lynn, let's jump in. Archangel Michael, what have you got please from this deck for my lovely Scorpios? Thank you, Michael. Any additional information? Thank you, that came out. Any additional information? Yep. Yep. Okay, that's it. Let's have a look, guys, and see what we have. 
So Scorpio, the first card out is strength. And I'm noticing all these orbs of light around this tree. This is someone who's been holding back from you, Scorpio. This is somebody who's needed to make a decision between you and someone else. Leo energy there. I think this person has decided to end another connection. With the energy of dragon power. This is someone with a one and a one, which is two. Obviously, that's a choice. It's also a master number. This is someone who has decided to follow their intuition and their heart. They've ended another connection. And this is someone who's been taking some time to think about themselves, reflecting on patterns of behavior, the way they treated people in the past, and what they want for their future. This is somebody who's hoping to achieve balance with a three and a three. Yeah. We have dragonfly spirit. This is someone who may have realized that they felt a very strong telepathic connection to you and they want to bring about change by reaching out to you to say they're wanting to put effort into a new relationship. So Scorpio, this is very exciting for someone. Let's move into the tarot. Here we go, tarot de la nuit. What do we have for my Scorpios, please, Michael? Thank you. That one, yeah. The Empress. Ooh. So, Scorpio, your person may have been dealing with an Empress, but if you look at this card, guys, this Empress looks as if she's codependent. She's not really interested in putting effort into anything. She's going to sit there and just be indulged, okay? For some reason, that's what I'm feeling. We've got no colour in that card. It's a very muted palette. I think with the Empress, this person got fed up with this Empress not putting work into the connection, Scorpio. Yeah, and it ended with the energy of the world. So Scorpio, you may have known this person before. You could have been in a third party situation with this person. You could have dated them in the past and then found out they were with an empress. But that connection has now come to a close. Yeah. Six of Pentacles. This could be somebody who was going through divorce. They're deciding to balance out their life and to take a chance with you. Yeah. Wow. Full energy. So we've got Aries energy twice with the emperor and the fool. This is somebody who's looking to move on to a brand new path. And this is someone who was very excited to come back to you to say they've made a decision. Nine of Pentacles. I think, Scorpio, you're sat in the energy of the Nine of Pentacles. I think you're looking absolutely gorgeous. I think you've been working on yourself and you are sitting in pre-Empress energy. My goodness. This person's going to come in with a Knight of Cups to express to you that they love you, that they want things to work with you. Mm. Five of Cups, you may have pushed this person away in the past, Scorpio. You may have felt a little bit sad about the whole situation, but you may have stood up for yourself and said, no, not interested if you are remaining in a connection with somebody else. Wow, Ace of Cups. So Scorpio, this is somebody coming back to you, wanting to offer you the start of a new relationship, a clean connection. Yeah. With a page of pentacles, this is somebody who's going to turn up with a gift. This person could be talking about child support. They may have a child with somebody else. The page of pentacles can also potentially be somebody telling you they're signing divorce papers. Pages are messengers. Pentacles is to do with foundation, money. And this can be relating to a document concerning finances. All right. Divorce papers may be. So whatever this is, they're coming back to you. Ten of Pentacles. Yeah, this is somebody who's trying to get as much out of this connection as they can before they fully end it. This is somebody who wants to offer you long-term commitment. And this is someone who is interested, King of Wands, to know how you feel about that. Yeah. 
So they're trying to hang on to their Ten of Pentacles or following maybe divorce, they're trying to rebuild the Ten of Pentacles and they're wanting to offer you long-term commitment. Goodness me. With the energy of the King of Wands, could be an Aries Leo Sagittarius you're dealing with. The Chariot. This is someone who's going to be very swiftly moving towards you. They could have ended things with a Cancerian. High Priestess. Scorpio, I think you're sitting in the energy of the High Priestess. Extremely intuitive. You may not have been speaking to this person for quite a while because you didn't want to get involved with somebody who was in a relationship with another person. Mm. Hangman, you have not been moving. Now, with a high priestess and a hangman, you could be thinking about a Pisces or somebody with Pisces in their chart. The Tower. It's going to be a shock. The Divine Scorpio is blowing up this stagnant energy of the hangman. This person's coming back. They want to talk to you. <laughs> it could be a shock. Yeah, page of cups. So the first thing they're going to do, Scorpio, is apologise. I am so sorry for putting you in this situation before, but I have made a decision to end the partnership I was in. Goodness me. Temperance. Sagittarian energy. This is somebody who has been healing. So I feel this connection that they were in has already ended. They've been working on their finances. They've been healing and they've been preparing the groundwork to come back to you in a much stronger fashion. Yeah. Look at that, Ace of Pentacles, Four of Wands, the Emperor. This is somebody who's really serious, Scorpio. Two of Pentacles, and look at you. You don't know what to do. You don't know what to do. Oh my goodness, do I run away from the connection? Do I give this a chance? I'm not sure. Mm, you're sitting on the fence. Four of Cups. Part of you, Scorpio, is thinking... They should have told me the truth to begin with. They may have kept you waiting, saying, yes, I'm going to end the other connection. Or, no, I'm not with anybody else. I mean, that might have been lies and deception. Or you simply hung around forever to allow this person the time to make the decision. And they didn't for the longest time. You may have thought this person would never come back to you, Scorpio. But they've come back. They want to talk to you. What are you going to do? The Hermit, Virgo Energy. You've been sitting, feeling left out in the cold, wondering what's been going on with this person, and you're wondering now what you should do. There's your death card. Yeah, what should you do? Should you say to this person, I'm sorry, it's too late, I've moved on, the trust has been broken, or do you think the situation can be transformed? What is this person saying to Scorpio? Two of cups. Two of cups. Scorpio, they do love you. They do. But I think this is someone who was really trying to hang on to another connection. There could have been a lot of money tied up in a long-term marriage, for instance, or live-in situation. This is someone who almost can't fight their feelings anymore. They're coming back to you. Yeah, Eight of Pentacles. They've been wanting to put in the work with you for the longest time. They've also been, since they broke up from their person, they've been concentrating on their own stability. So I think they have something to offer you. What is Scorpio going to say? Eight of Swords, really? Scorpio? You're quite stressed. I think with the Eight of Swords, you may say to this person, I want to think about things. What is Scorpio thinking about? The Three of Pentacles. Yeah, what you're thinking about, Scorpio, is they did juggle you with somebody else before. Now, everyone's going to be different. They could have lied about the fact they were with someone else and you're thinking they lied to me to begin with. Or you could have just simply waited for such a long time for this person to make a decision and you may feel as if it's too late. But you're looking at an opportunity to develop this connection again 
and to rebuild it from the ground up. This person wants to put in effort. What is Scorpio thinking about? The Knight of Pentacles, yeah. Scorpio, they're coming in with a very stable offer to work on the connection. They do want to move this forward into a serious relationship. They're not going to rush you. They're not going to push you. They simply don't want you to say no. Okay? They don't want you to say no. Six of Swords. But again, you're a bit scared. They want to move to calmer waters, but there's a sense of, oh, what am I doing? Is this a good idea? Is this right? The Weird of Fortune. You have a chance of moving on to a new cycle. This is a divinely guided connection. I think the divine wants you to take a chance with this, but there's something inside you that isn't sure. Four of Pentacles. It's as if you don't want to let go of this person, but there's also a fear in letting go of your independence as well. For some reason. For some reason. Three of Cups. Yeah, I mean, you have a chance to reunite with this person. But what you're thinking about is, will they ever leave me for somebody else? This sounds very similar to another reading I did. Hmm. King of Pentacles. They're not giving up, Scorpio, on you. This is someone who's almost saying, take as long as you like. I'm not going anywhere. I'm not interested in anyone else. I'm breaking free or I've broken free from another situation. I want to be with you. Yeah. What else is this person saying to Scorpio, Michael? Four of Wands. Yeah. <laughs> wow. This is somebody who imagines you two living together, creating a beautiful home together. That's serious. Seven of Pentacles, yeah. This is somebody who's looked at the past and they've realised that you're the one. There may have been some awkward energies between the two of you, but with a Nine of Cups, they simply believe that you would bring them all the happiness they could ever want and they want to be with you. The Star, Aquarian Energy. This is somebody who wants to heal that broken connection what are they saying to Scorpio, Michael? The Hierophant. Taurus energy. This is someone who feels a deep spiritual connection with you. My beautiful Scorpios. And this is you, Queen of Cups. I don't know. You're looking at the only flower here that's blooming. Is this going to wither and fade? Should I go for this? You don't know. You've faced a lot of disappointment in the past, I think, Scorpio. What is this person saying to Scorpio? <laughs> Guys, really, ten of cups. I mean, Scorpio, they really want you to say yes. Please give me a chance. What is going to happen here? Strength card. Ooh. You're either connecting with a Leo and this Leo is literally pouring out their heart to you, Scorpio, or it may take courage and confidence for you to give this person a chance. I don't actually think you're going to be holding back. I think this is the divine saying, Scorpio, we know how much you've been through. We know the secrets of your heart. We know that you've been hurt before, but this person is really wanting to be with you. They are single or they shortly will be. And this is someone who is simply wanting to love you. Okay. So it's up to you guys. But I think what the divine is saying is go for it. Now, let's get into messages. Andromeda Skies, Love Oracle. So Archangel Michael, what would this person want to say to my beautiful Scorpios, please? Thank you. Yeah, can we start over? This was very challenging. Scorpio, you may have been in a third party with them and they want to tell you that they're going to be faithful. They just want to be with you. 
you make me want to be a better person. Yeah, this is somebody who puts you on a pedestal. They see you as extremely moral. You do things the right way. You're filled with integrity. You could be a light worker even. They've looked at themselves in the mirror and they've realized that the way that they treated you before and the way they behaved before wasn't right. Yeah, wasn't right. Okay, I pulled away because I'm overwhelmed with all the things going on in my life. I think at the time you met this person, Scorpio, they were considering ending a long-term partnership, but they decided not to. You may have pushed this person away because you didn't want to be simply a third-party situation. Mm. Yeah, so now you're realising that this is someone who wants to talk. There is so much I want to tell you. Now, let's see what you would want to say to them. Telepathic bond. So, Scorpio, you instantly felt a connection with this person, but I think you pushed them away. Yeah, you acted as if you didn't care when deep down you really did. Because you didn't want the chaos, you didn't want the drama. What else is Scorpio saying to that person? Yeah, you're faced with constant reminders of this person, Scorpio. You can't get them off your mind, but there's a deep fear. Oh, that wants to come out too. There's a deep fear in you saying yes to this person, you know? Yeah, you dream of this person. Scorpio, you can't make this up. <laughs> I think you're in love with this person, Scorpio, but you almost feel as if they don't deserve you or you feel scared that this isn't going to work out. I think the divine is saying, take it slowly. Scorpio, this person isn't going anywhere. They don't want anybody else. They're going to give you all the time that you need. I think the divine is saying, give this a go, okay? Beautiful reading. All right, gorgeous people, I'm leaving it there. Take care of you. Have a great weekend. And I'll be back before you know it with your next set of readings. Bye, Scorpio.